If you're trying to change someone, then you really don't like them. So one of the hardest lessons in relationships for women to learn is that we can't control anybody but ourselves. And if we're to believe the media, this is like epidemic and out of proportion. Women are trying to change their husbands, their boyfriends, their children, their boss, their job. So how can we help women to get a grip on this issue? There goes the media again, spreading all this bad junk and everyone buys right into it and then there's more bad junk because of the energy it's all creating. We become unhappy with other people because we're unhappy with ourselves. So in order to become you know, a whole complete woman and be happy with ourselves, we have to work on our personal growth and our um, you know, the self-help books or programs or whatever you can get that work for you, a good coach, a therapist, whatever it is. And once you start to be happy with yourself, it's okay to let other people be themselves. Yeah. And you understand, even personality styles, or if you do the basic thing, there's four personality styles, and they're all very conflicting. And if you understand that about other people, it gives you a whole new understanding. Mm -hmm. And that takes the blame out. And so uh, the reason we keep wanting to control everyone when we get in that mode is because we're feeling out of control of ourselves. And just to inspire someone to do something the way we think it should be done or said, gives us that little piece of feeling controlled because we're controlling someone else, but that's a power fix and it dies very quickly. It's like a drug fix and you have to keep doing it and then no one wants to hang I, out with I you. think it's conditioned too. If you grew up in a house, let's say, where your parents were controlling everything you did, you couldn't have your own mind, your own thoughts, your own opinion, then you learn that the only way to be in a relationship or to be able to tolerate another person is to control them as well. And so, you know, it's just, it's this cycle that keeps going. If you're trying to change someone, then you really don't like them oh, the way they so are, true. you know? True. I was in a relationship <laughs> once where the man, you know, wanted me to get, you know, I'm very pale, I'm a redhead. He wanted me to get a suntan. He wanted me to get Ew. breast implants. You know what? Let, <laughs> let some everybody Barbie dolls. be themselves. Yeah. 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 Let, yeah. let the other well, person be, to, be, you know? We gotta to accept, accept people. You know, I think a lot of control, the reason why people control or want to control others, I mean, constantly control controlling others is because of safety. Yep. You don't feel safe when there's something going on, so you have to control it. And the only way you know how to control it is to get other people to do your bidding, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, so it feels safe, even though it's it's screwed up. Like it's it all, the whole thing goes backwards because the whole thing is, when we talk about this, is that everybody has to take care of themselves and honor themselves and you're the only person you can rely on. So do you think that as women, like as your safety narrows, like what are the warning signs? What is someone who is a, you know, as a recovering control freak, I have an ask this question, like as you start to become aware of your need to control your environment, like how can we help women to see these signs a little bit sooner? Because that control freak mentality pushes people away. I, I really think it, it, it has so much to do with just being in touch with yourself. And again, I don't just mean, it, it's everything, spiritually, emotionally, Physically, I mean, I know for me, when I'm feeling out of control, I know, oh, I'm gonna probably try to control other people around. I mean, and I've learned to to, to know what those signs are for me. Yeah, yeah. So if you're disconnected, you're not gonna know. You've gotta be connected to yourself to understand what's happening around you. Mm -hmm. Right, so. self-awareness. Yeah. yeah, It's so freeing when you feel you don't have to uh, control anybody else or tell somebody what oh, to do. Or Because women, when so we start to nag, oh honey, you should do this, you should do that, or your kids, or your husband, and then you think, Oh gosh, I don't have to do this anymore. Gee, well, what am I going to do with my time? I think right. I'll go to the beach. Well, you know, also light and right. life passes. Oh, this is great. You know, you'll have like so much more time to yourself. Freedom. You know, it's yeah. freedom. No, and, yeah. and life yeah. passes. I mean, listen. There's times I can look back and and where I was thinking about this and this was a problem and that was a problem. And I look back and I go, Oh my God, I missed that time. Yeah. I could have enjoyed it so much more. Yeah. And now it's gone. Yeah. You know, that's that's a huge part of it is being present. Okay, mm -hmm. so a good thing for women to do is to practice some kind of grounding technique. Have techniques so you can release those emotions. Get back in your body, use breathing. If that's all you know how to do, just breathe. Come back into the moment. Think about who am I and what do I want in this moment to be happy. Right? So it sounds like in the area of control, there's uh, places in our life where we take control because we are afraid. And there are places in our life where we need to control because we have young children or we're in a situation where we have to do something. And for women to really figure this out, they have to look inside figure out what they're afraid of and their motivations for this controlling behavior. And from there, get some help. 
you know if you need it. So, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs>